Today is a new day and the start of your blessed life. It's not an accident or chance that you are here. God brought you here today to the place where he is Lord and King. He's orchestrating a blessing for you. We welcome you to Kingdom Life. We welcome you to Kingdom Life. Your blessings here. We welcome you to Kingdom Life. We welcome you to Kingdom Life. You're welcome here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hey, welcome everybody to our Wednesday evening prayer service. It is the last Wednesday in 2021, so you know what that means. There's still great room for you and your family. Amen. As we get ready to look to all things new in 22. Amen. I want you to get your Bibles ready. We're going to go to the Word of God in a, just a moment, but I want to encourage you to like, comment, and share this video before we begin so that as many people as possible can get on this prayer line. I know it's a live stream, but this is a prayer line. So they can get on this prayer line, they can get in their adoration, and they can get in their prayer request. So like, comment, and share this video right now. Get your Bible out right now. I think we're going to Deuteronomy. He'll tell you the scripture as soon as he's ready. But I want you to be prepared. If you gotta get your tallit, get your tallit. If you gotta get a pillow to get on your knees, Go ahead and get your knee pillow so you can bend down and you can pray to God however you feel best. You can walk around your house inside or outside. I don't care. As long as you're giving God the glory some kind of way, hey, I can't argue with you. But listen, I want to remind you of our service times. Every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. is our Sunday celebration service. Our Sun, S-O-N, day celebration service where we get to celebrate our risen Savior, our Lord and King, Jesus the Christ. Amen. And then first and third Mondays of each month, the women have Women of Glory Bible study on Zoom. If you would like to be a part of that, please uh, inbox us, inbox Lady Hope, and we will get you that Zoom information. It's a private Zoom, and so you got to put it on your schedule and uh, meet up that way. Amen. Tuesdays are Real Talk Tuesdays where you get the practical word for your natural lives to help you with your everyday struggles and to help you spiritually as well. It's a great empowerment and we look forward to each and every Tuesday. So make sure that you turn on your notifications, you subscribe to our channels so that you get each and every update that comes out. And like what you're watching now is our 7 p.m. Wednesday evening prayer and you already know what to do with that because I told you earlier so get your hearts and your minds prepared for prayer as we get ready to enter in into the throne room of grace amen oh one more thing that I almost forgot this Friday December 31st 2021 is our uh, New Year's Eve service at 7 p.m. there's a word with your name on it and we're going to get you that word and we're going to get you home safely before midnight so that you can bring in the new year with your family and your friends and your loved ones and whoever you want to. Amen. But we are praying this evening. I think Apostle's ready. He just signaled that he's ready. So prepare your hearts, prepare your mind to go to another level in God on this evening. God bless you all and may his grace and peace abide with you in your homes, wherever you're watching this, and begin to type those uh, declarations of adoration as soon as he's done reading the word. God bless. Deuteronomy chapter one, verse 10 and 11, New King James Version says, the Lord your God has multiplied you and here you are today as the stars of heaven in multitude verse 11 may the lord god of your fathers make you a thousand times more numerous than you are and bless you 
as he has promised you. Amen. The New Living Translation says it this way. The Lord your God has increased your population, making you as numerous as the stars. And may the Lord, the God of your ancestors, multiply you a thousand times more and bless you as he has promised. And then finally, beloved, the Message Bible. Hallelujah. Says it like this. God, your God, has multiplied your numbers. Why look at you? You rival the stars in the sky. And may God, the God of your fathers, keep it up and multiply you another a thousand times. Bless you just as he has promised. Hallelujah. That is the message Bible version of Deuteronomy chapter 1, verses 10 and 11. So we're playing, praying for multiplication today. We're praying for multiplication today. Yeah, we're going to multiply. Pray for multiplication of your finances. But there's something I need you to gather here as well. Uh, and not just multiplication for finances. Uh, we're going to pray for your next generations because this says, May the God of your fathers, meaning your ancestors, one translation says. And so that there's generational blessings and not generational curses. So we're going to pray for your children, your grandchildren as well. And then we're going to pray, hallelujah, that you have a testimony by the end of October, October 31st. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of God. You know, family, we always start out with confessions of adoration. But I need you to clear your mind. I need you to clear your head. I know there's a lot going on. There's a lot of things in social media, vloggers and bloggers are talking about. A lot of things even in our news. Hallelujah. But I need you to clear your mind real good, real quickly. I need you to do as the song says. Forget about yourself and concentrate on him for a moment as we begin to go to the throne of God. And now as we begin to go to the throne of God, we always start again with confessions of adoration. What are those confessions of adoration? Again, is the isness of God. It is an adjective, a noun, and a verb at the same time. It describes who God is and what he does all at the same time. So we need you all to begin to type those on the screen. Hallelujah. Mother Hannah already said he's an awesome God. Sister Rochelle said, he's my keeper. Hallelujah. Tati, Tanaya already said, you're a mighty God. Hallelujah. Somebody said, he's our friend. God, you are good. Hallelujah. Come on with those confessions of adoration. Hallelujah. We thank you. You're our protector. You're worthy. You're the light in the darkness. Yay. You're a provider. Glory to God. We thank you because you're awesome. You're Alpha. You're Omega. You're the beginning. You're the end. You're the author of our faith. You're our shelter in the time of storm. You're a way maker, our healer. You're almighty. You're an on time God. You're a deliverer. You're our light. You're the bridge that carries us over. You're our comforter. Hallelujah. I see Kansas City's in the house. You're our Savior. You're a loving God. You're Jehovah Nisi. Hallelujah. You're our strength. You're everlasting to everlasting. You're merciful and kind. You're mighty and great. You're a healer. Hallelujah. You're the lifter of our heads. You're the mender of our broken hearts. You're the mender of our relationships. We thank you because you're mighty. We thank you because your love is never ending. We thank you because your wisdom is infinite. Your love is infinite. We thank you because you're our rock in a weary land. You're merciful and kind. You're loyal and true. You're faithful and true. You're committed to us. You fight for us. Hallelujah. We thank you because you never gave up on us. 
we thank you because your love is never ending your love compasses encompasses us it surrounds us you're our leader our guide our provider you provide for us you are the source you're our resource we thank you because you're the shelter in the time of storm we thank you because you're the healer we thank you because you're everlasting to everlasting we thank you because you're our, sh uh, our shelter our buckler our shield i thank you because you're our way maker we thank you because you are the way the truth and the life we thank you because you're our redeemer hey. hallelujah i thank you because you're a mighty god i thank you because you're our counselor our advocate our intercessor our protector our teacher our guide i thank you because you are wonderful i thank you because you're emmanuel i thank you because you're the one and true and living god i thank you because you're the living word you're the rhema word you're the manifested word i thank you because you're a miracle worker i thank you because you're our salvation i thank you because you're our buckler and our shield I thank you because you are the King of all kings. You are the Lord of all lords. I thank you because you're great and mighty. I thank you because you're our company keeper. I thank you because you're our keeper. I thank you because you never gave up on us. Even when we threw in the towel, you threw it back at us. Even when we wanted to quit, you didn't allow us to quit. Even when we fainted in the midst of the battle, you carried us over. I thank you because you continue to carry us over. I thank you because you continue to carry us over. I thank you because you continue to carry us over. Hallelujah. When we quit, you pick us up. Hallelujah. When we're in our pit of, of our pool of, of pity, uh, uh, pitifulness and, and, and we want pity, you pick us up. Hallelujah. When depression tries to come up on some of us, you pick us up. You never push us down, but you always pick us up. You always pull us up. You always push us higher. We thank you as we stretch our hands to you. Hallelujah. You grab us. You hold us. You keep us. We thank you because you hold us when we need to be held. You keep us when we don't want to be kept. You keep our minds together. You keep our hearts together. When we feel like we might be losing our minds, when stress is strong and stress seems like it's overtaking us, you continue to keep us and we thank you. You continue to keep us together and we thank you. You continue to hold us together and you continue to hold us up and we thank you. If we never do anything tonight but thank you, we thank you for what you've done. We thank you for what you're doing. And most importantly, we thank you for who you are. Hallelujah. You are God and you are God alone. You are God and you are God all by yourself. And we thank you for not only being God, but some of us said you're our Lord. Hallelujah. And we thank you for being our Lord and our Savior. Because the earth is yours and the fullness thereof and everything therein. So you are our Lord because we belong to you you're our father and we thank him for being our father hallelujah and we bless your name now and we glorify you now and we lift you up now hallelujah for being God for being our Lord and not only are you our God not only are you our Lord but you're our Savior hallelujah we thank you for being our ransom we thank you for paying the price for us we thank you for dying for us we thank you for being our substitute we thank you for being our savior hallelujah and we glorify you now hallelujah and we magnify you now and we lift you up now now devil hallelujah i talked to you you're not stopping this tonight hallelujah you're not stopping this tonight hallelujah i ain't had no side problems hallelujah and i can't tell you how long but you want to hurt tonight the devil is alive hallelujah we give god the glory we give god the honor and we give god the 
the praise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray now, God. Hallelujah. Since that want to hit me, hallelujah. We pray for healing even now. Hallelujah. Healing over your people in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whatever the ailment is, whatever the sickness is, whatever the heartache is, we decree healing in the name of Jesus. When we glorify you now and we magnify you now. Hallelujah. As your healing power is sweeping through even now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For your word decrees and declares by your stripes we are healed and we thank you now and we call it in now. Every pain be alleviated. Every hurt be alleviated and we send it to the throne of God to be judged by you even now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless his holy and righteous name. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. We lift you up because healing is the children's bread. We magnify fire because healing is our portion we call it in we claim it now we decree it now in the name of jesus huh you are the great physician i see you prophet you are the great physician and we thank you huh because you are the great physician we thank you hallelujah because what the doctors can't do you have already done hallelujah what the doctors can't figure out you've already sent the answer you've already did the diagnosis you've already sent the prognosis and we glorify you even now in advance for healing in the name of Jesus for your word says by your stripes we are healed by your stripes we are healed and we call it now we claim it now God in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus glory to God glory to God glory to God Bless his name. Hallelujah. Come on, people of God. Hallelujah. Put your hand on your ailment right now. Wherever you are, put your hand on your ailment right now. Because remember, God said on Sunday morning, hallelujah, before he can multiply you, he has to heal you. Because if he multiplied you in sickness, he would be multiplying sickness. So we decree healing even now. I don't care if it's a hung toenail, a migraine, a gas. Hallelujah. We decree healing now. Hallelujah. I don't care if it's cancer, diabetes, high cholesterol, hallelujah, lupus, or leukemia. We decree healing now. I don't care if it's HIV, a full-blown AIDS. We decree healing now. Hallelujah. I don't care if it's herpes simplex too. Hallelujah. The gonorrhea uh, or, 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 or anything else. We decree healing even now. In the name of Jesus. I don't care if it's tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. I can't say it right, but you know what I'm saying. Tuberculosis. Hallelujah. We decree healing now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We call it done in Jesus name. So be healed. Be delivered. Be set free in the name of Jesus and be made whole for God this is your temple now heal your temple come on God this is your temple now heal your temple I speak to the blood deficiencies come on put iron back in the blood of your people God in the name of Jesus huh? if they need a blood transfusion we decree now that your blood your blood your, your blood be transfused even now hallelujah in the name of Jesus blood disorders be dissolved even now hallelujah blood counts come up now blood cells come up now white blood cells come up now in the name of Jesus we call it done in Jesus name every organ hallelujah every organ will line up and function properly in the name of Jesus every system will line up and function properly in the name of Jesus come on hallelujah we call it done in Jesus name hallelujah be healed be delivered be set free and be made whole even now and we thank you God I see you tonight heal your temple Lord God this is your temple now heal it hallelujah God this is your temple now heal it now God as we've been praying for healing over the body I pray for healing over the mind. You can't multiply us if we're confused in our mind. You can't multiply our finances if we got a mind of poverty. 
So Father, I pray now for healing over our mind. I speak, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. I speak, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. I speak, whose mind is stayed on him, Jesus Christ, he'll keep it in perfect peace. I speak, my mind is made up to follow Jesus all the way. Hallelujah, that today's the last day for your stinking thinking. I decree and I declare, be renewed in your mind. Come on, that God will put a new mindset, hallelujah. And with the new mind comes a new heart in the name of Jesus. Come on, be renewed in your mind today. Come on, be renewed in your mind today. Come on, be renewed in your mind today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Forget about the past, huh? even the hurts and frustrations of the past. But reach for your future and press towards the mark of the past of the high calling which is in Christ Jesus so be renewed in the spirit of your mind come on be renewed in the spirit of your mind come on God is putting a new mind in you even now come on God is putting a new mind in you even now some of y'all ought to call out the names of some of those folks hallelujah you know your child need his mind renewed come on and some of y'all need Joe's mind renewed hallelujah put your hand on your head and representing the name of the person that you are that you're praying for hallelujah come on and tell their mind to be renewed uh, be renewed in your mind fresh ideas come on witty inventions come on creativity come on be renewed in your mind hallelujah quit being stuck in the past move forward in your mind come on move forward in your mind come on move forward in your mind come on eh? move forward in your mind come on you can move from that now come on you've been delivered from that now come on you've been brought up to a new level in God now move forward forward in your mind uh, through Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus come on I remember hallelujah I pray for remembering memory hallelujah that you ain't gonna forget any longer come on I pray that God brings your memory back hallelujah I pray that God brings your short-term memory back hallelujah and some of y'all's long-term memory hallelujah in the name of Jesus uh, mind disorders be cow called out and cast down now come on bipolarism be cast down now schizophrenia be cast down now in the name of Jesus hallelujah a manic depressive mindset be cast down now in the name of Jesus come on depression be cast down now why because depression starts with incorrect thinking come on be cast down now in the name of Jesus frustrations disappointments be cast down now in the name of Jesus come on be renewed in your mind ah, be renewed in your mind come on that cancer that's in your mind hallelujah a frustration the cancer of bitterness in your mind the cancer of unforgiveness in your mind come on be cast out now in the name of Jesus and be healed in your mind come on be delivered in your mind come on be set free in your mind come on be made whole in your mind huh? in Jesus name 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 creative thoughts creativity hallelujah a freshness is hitting your mind new ideas is hitting you today hallelujah your job has been stuck and they're waiting on the next million dollar idea I speak the next million dollar idea, hallelujah, that will be thought of and applied, hallelujah, hallelujah, during the month of October in your life, come on, y'all didn't get it, y'all didn't get it, a million dollar idea, you will think about it, and you will get it applied and be moving towards it in the month of October, come on, hallelujah, claim that thing, claim that thing, a million dollar idea, that I'm going to act on in the month of October. That I'm going to put in the plate in the month of October. Come on, a million dollar idea that will take my business to the next level. That will take my company up higher. That will get a promotion for me. Because promotion don't come from the east or the west. But it comes from the spirit of the Lord. A million dollar idea in the month of October. I claim it for you even now. I need y'all. I can't see y'all. But let me feel you in the spirit. Come on. I see some of y'all typing. But come on. Give God glory right there. Claim your million dollar idea in the month of October. A 
I pray for clarity for the confused mind where there is confusion I pray peace for God is not the author of confusion but of peace and to all the saints I pray for peace of mind I pray for rest Woo! anxiety and worry we cast down in the name of Jesus we take authority over it even now and you will have peace in your mind because if there's peace in your mind there'll be peace in your body because as a man thinketh in his heart so is he glory to the name of God glory to the name of God hallelujah hallelujah I hear you Holy Ghost hallelujah that's all right hallelujah whoever it is that's receiving your healing whether you are watching it now or you are watching the replay let God do what he's doing hallelujah let God do what he's doing there's some stuff he's flooding your memory with now you tried to black out you tried to block out but God said the only way to move forward is to face it so he's bringing it up for you to face it hallelujah for you to acknowledge this was an issue so you can give it over to God because what you block out you can't hand over hallelujah I know I'm praying and teaching at the same time what you block out you can't hand over hallelujah if you block it out you don't acknowledge it you hide it so what you hide you can't heal what you hide you can't heal that just hit me what you hide you can't heal Woo! hiding don't help and hiding don't heal ah, good god hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Ask God to bring up some of that stuff in order for you to move forward, in order for you to be multiplied. Ask God to bring up what's hindering your multiplication. Bring it to your memory. It could be something as simple as you yourself has hurt somebody's feelings and you never went back to say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. You actually forgot about it and moved on, but that person never did. Ask God to bring it up to your memory. So whoever you are, let God do it now. Come on. Let God do it now. Hallelujah. I need you, V Church. I need y'all to give God glory right there because God is dealing with somebody right now all over the airways. I need you to give him praise in your house, wherever you're watching from, because somebody's being healed in their mind. Things have been brought to their attention now. Your migraine headaches is coming from your unforgiveness. It's coming for the stuff you ain't, I hear you, Holy Ghost. It's coming for the stuff you ain't let go of. Woo. Somebody said, I thought I did it. You've been doing good, but there's still some you gotta let go. Mm. You've been doing good, but there's still some you gotta let go. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to Hey, Shay, Tedebeko, Brikatana Mande, Zetebe Esha Ketaba, Brakatana Nana Mande, Hoshi Katanaba. Oh, shake it a man, do robocco. Another man, hey, she banded a beco, Brakatana Nanama. Hey, she get it under a baku tarama. Bakus Katamande, hey, she get a bar. He get an amando ho. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless his holy and righteous name. Hallelujah. I can say this. I don't know. I need you to testify. I need you to testify, V Church. Hallelujah. The pain that I was having done left me. Hallelujah. So I, I really don't know if it's mine or somebody else, to be totally honest with you. Hallelujah. If you was having pain in your side or going across your back, hallelujah, and the pain is gone now, I need you to testify and say it was me. Hallelujah. Because I haven't had pain in my side or my back, and I can't tell you when. And all of a sudden, it started hitting me. So that had to be somebody else's. Hallelujah. Her pain is gone. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hey, shatanabako. E katanamande. Hallelujah. Come on, V Church. Hallelujah. Come on, whatever platform you own. Hallelujah. I haven't seen no YouTube. I've seen our Facebook today. Hallelujah. Whatever platform you own. Hallelujah. Testify if your pain is gone. 
Hallelujah. Testify if your pain is gone now. Hallelujah. Testify if your pain is gone. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, I got it. Come on. Yes, I got it. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, I got it. Come on. Hallelujah. He's a healer. He's a deliverer. Hallelujah. He's a healer. He's a deliverer. Bless his holy and righteous name. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now we've been praying. We pray for healing in your body. We pray for healing in your mind. I'm going to get to where I got to go today. Hallelujah. But I'm letting the Holy Ghost lead me right now. Now I'm praying for healing in your family. I'm praying for healing in your family. I'm praying for healing in your family. I'm praying for healing. I turn on my hope. I need you to type the last names of your family. Hallelujah. Your last name. If your children have a different last name, type their last name. Hallelujah. It could be a family member, sister, or brother that has a different last name. I need you to type some last names. Hallelujah. I might not call them, but I need them on the screen. Our intercessors will go back and pray for every family. We're praying and we're decreeing healing. Hallelujah. In your family. Somebody said, all throughout my family. Come on. Healing. Hallelujah. The Porter Tate Chambers Johnson family. The Morales family. The Miller family. The Keller family. Kelly family. The Mayfield family. The Jack family. Thompson, Watkins, Grubbs. Hallelujah. Ferguson family. Hallelujah. Mahone family. Mosley family. We decree healing in the Johnson Evans, Stith and Flood family. The Campbell family. Hallelujah. The Abbott family, the Brown family. Hallelujah. The Reed family, the Golden family, the Atkins family, the Vaughn family. We're praying for healing over the Belgrave family. Glory to the name of God. Hallelujah. The Thomas family, the Ashurst family, the Ashurst Thomas family, the Bell Watson family. Hallelujah. The Irvins, the Barbers, the Glens. We're praying for healing over the families, the Gill family. The Elrod family, the Lindsay family, Ross, Bean, Glean, Wilson, McCracken, Crumb family. We're praying for healing over the families. Hallelujah. The Wilson family, in the name of Jesus. The Abbott family, the Mitchell family. We're praying for healing over the families. Bless his holy and righteous name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Jackson family, the Cantu family. Hallelujah. The Bird family. McGarry family, the, ha- the Haley family, the Register family, hallelujah, the Walker family, hallelujah, glory to be God, Yay! the James family, hallelujah, the Harris family, the Blue family, hallelujah, the Crockett family, hallelujah, we're praying for healing over the families. Passmore, the Williams, Chambers, Maxfield, Browns, Owens, Thomas, Fultons, James, Downing, Wilson, Carter, Williams, Healy, Simon, King, praying for healing over the families, the Wells family, healing over the families, the Roberts family, hallelujah, glory to God, the Clink family, the Hughes family, hallelujah, the Barbers, praying for healing over the families, keep the names coming. Hallelujah. Keep them names coming. Hallelujah. The Steele family. Hallelujah. The Stanley family. Glory to God. The Thomas family. The Atkins family. The Carter's family. Hallelujah. We're praying for healing over the families. The Kobe family. Hallelujah. We thank you. Father, even now. Rotasha, the Grant family. Hallelujah. Rotasha and the kids. The Gayton family, we thank you, God, for healing in the family now. Whatever the ailment is, whatever the issue is, the Honeycutt, the Maynard family, whatever the issue is, whatever the ailment is, whatever happened years ago, the unforgiveness that may still be there, the bitterness, the hurt that may be there, God, we thank you now because you are, hallelujah, not only are you the great physician, Not only are you a heart mender, but you're a mind regulator. 
And we thank you because you're all about the family unit. We thank you because you're all about the family unit. And we thank you because you structured it so from the very beginning that it would be about the family. That's why you are our father and we are your children. You love the family. And Father, right now, we pray for every husband. We pray for every father. Hallelujah. That's not in their rightful position. I pray now that you would put them in their rightful position. Let them be the husband that they're supposed to be to their wife. Hallelujah. And not treat their wife as a child, but as their equal in the name of jesus let them be a kingdom man in the name of jesus let them lead their family let them proclaim hallelujah prophesy speak over their family in the name of jesus glory to god let them be a guide and a guard for their family and let them give to their family in the name of jesus i pray for fathers god hallelujah especially absentee fathers in the name of jesus hallelujah and those fathers that won't take care of their own children but will take care of somebody else's children. You said they're worse than an infidel. Hallelujah. So, Father, I pray that you would pierce their hearts even now, God, and be there for their children. Hallelujah. Even if the parents are to, aren't together, that they can co-parent properly in the name of Jesus and be a real father. Hallelujah. Be a real God. Be a real example in the name of Jesus. Gird these men up. Gird these men up. We come against frustration. We come against heartache. We come against pain. We come against bitterness and forgiveness. In the name of Jesus, we pray for every woman, God, whether their wife or mother, God. We pray that you would keep them covered and protected. Even now, help them to understand who they are in you that they have some value not some value but they're invaluable god hallelujah because you said hallelujah who can find a, a virtuous woman for her price hallelujah is more than rubies in other words that every godly woman is priceless hallelujah there's a, not enough money that she can be bought god in the name of jesus but she is hallelujah an incubator into the world god we thank you hallelujah that her womb god hallelujah is a traveling space from one world to the next God and because you made woman to be who she is God help her to know that she's mighty help her to know that she's powerful help her to know that you got your hand upon her in the name of Jesus that you are keeping her hallelujah even with heartache men with men bringing heartache and rejection in the name of Jesus I pray for those women hallelujah that are in those jacked up relationships even now where the man might be hallelujah mentally or emotionally and sometimes physically abused them let her know she ain't got to stay in that kind of relationship but she's stronger than that you didn't make her for that hallelujah but you made her God hallelujah to be uniquely and wonderfully made hallelujah in the name of Jesus heal every hurt heal every wound in the name of Jesus hallelujah the thought of the thing God that's still playing in her mind that's still playing the replay God I pray now God for every molestation every abuse hallelujah even with our children today God that they be protected from it in the name of Jesus move every predator out of the family line come on move every predator out of the family line either change their heart either change that predator or move them out God I don't care who they are God either change their heart or move them out in the name of Jesus protect your family God protect the children protect your family God in the name of Jesus whether they're sexual predators or whether they're an abusive hallelujah by physical abuse predator whether it's an emotional a mental abuse predator hallelujah in the name of Jesus either change the predator or put him out in the name that's my prayer today either change him or put him out either change him or put him out in the name of Jesus and we give you glory for it now and we give you honor for it now God as you cover the family and I pray that you would surround them now in the name of Jesus hallelujah that the family will move forward together that the family will achieve what you sent them here to do God that the family hallelujah will move forward even in their finances together give the family unit a strategy and a plan hallelujah that they could use even now to move forward in the name Name of Jesus every estranged family we pray for unity we pray forgiveness abides 
We pray for peace even now. Every estranged family, whether it's sisters against sisters, mothers against daughters, fathers against sons, in-laws, outlaws, whatever it is, God. We pray for peace now, God. We pray that forgiveness abides. We pray that understanding comes into play. That we can understand each other and what each other's dealing with and where each other's coming from. That we would accept each other's differences. While we may be from the same family, we're still different. While we may have the same last name, we're still unique. That we can accept each other's differences. And we speak unification now. Unity. That mom and daddy get on the same page. That husband and wife get on the same page. That mother and children get on the same page. That father and children get on the same page. I pray for every single parent home. Hallelujah. That you would allow them, God. Hallelujah. Not to be what the statistics say, a dysfunctional family. But they would be, hallelujah, a still a kingdom family. And be all that you have called them to be. And we give your name the glory. We give your name the honor. Father, bring up the issues in October that they need to be healed from. Let me calm down. Father, whatever issues that's keeping the family from moving forward, in the month of October, let them face them issues. Heal from it move from it and go forward together in the name of Jesus get everybody on this perspective a healthy perspective in the family let everybody in the family know that their voice matters not only does their voice matter but they matter in the name of Jesus hallelujah I don't care if it's been 20 years, 30 years, they ain't talk. We proclaim the month of October, the family unit will be made whole. There'll be unity in the family. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Now God, what we were supposed to pray for, multiplication. Multiply us, God. multiply us God you give us the power to get wealth hallelujah your covenant is established in the earth and in our life in Jesus name Deuteronomy 11 says we're blessed in the city we're blessed in the field we're blessed when we come we're blessed when we go multiply us God in the name of Jesus we break and annul all the assignments of the enemy that comes against our finances, that comes against our increase, hallelujah, that comes against our inheritance. We break and annul all curses of poverty, curses of debt, curses of lack, curses against our finances in Jesus' name. Because we seek first the kingdom, your kingdom, kingdom of God and your righteousness and we know that all these things shall be added unto us God we rebuke we cast out all the spirits of the canker worm the palmer worm the caterpillar hallelujah and the locusts that would eat up our blessings Lord Jesus your word says you teach us to profit Woo. And you would teach us in the way, lead us in the way we should go. According to Isaiah 48. You are our Jehovah Jireh. You are our El Shaddai. Jehovah Jireh, our provider. El Shaddai, God who is more than enough. According to Psalms 112, you said wealth and riches are in our house. Because we fear you and delight greatly in your commandments. Hallelujah, the blessings of the Lord is upon our life to make us rich and you add no sorrow. 
and we thank you because we're blessed in our coming in. We're blessed in our going out. We're blessed in the city and everywhere we go. We are your servant and you take pleasure in our prosperity because your favor is up on us according to Psalms 35. Hallelujah. We thank you as we meditate on your, meditate on your word day and night. And it says, and whatever we do, it will prosper us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You told us you would prosper us through the prophets and the prophetic, according to Ezra 6, 14. We believe in the true prophets of God, and we prosper in your name, according to 2 Chronicles 20 and 20. Hallelujah. We thank you for our time of prosperity, according to Nehemiah 1 11. We thank you. Because you're the God of heaven who prospers us according to Nehemiah 2 and 20. We live in prosperity according to Jeremiah 23 and 5. We thank you because the favor of the Lord is upon us. We thank you because you have called us and you make us prosperous daily. We thank you because we pray and fast in secret. You said you will reward us in the open. And as we are rewarded by thus that we trust in you and we diligently seek you according to Hebrews 11. We thank you because you have released wealth, the wealth of the wicked into our hands. We thank you that you have brought us into a wealthy place. We give it and it is given unto us. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. According to Luke 6, 38, we thank you. Hallelujah, because you've opened up the floodgates of heaven according to Malachi 3 and 10 to run over our lives and we receive it in Jesus' name that we would have enough Hallelujah. And we thank you because, again, according to Malachi 3, you said that if we give, you would open up the windows. Hallelujah. And pour out a blessing upon us that we won't have room enough to receive. We thank you because this is still the real year of great room. And we thank you as we're digging wells now. Hallelujah. The one of the wells is Rehoboth. Hallelujah. We thank you for a many room place, a great room, Rehoboth, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you because there's no holes in our back. We thank you because you rebuke the devourer for our sake. We thank you because all nations will call us blessed. We thank you because we are in a league with the stones of the field. We thank you because our gates are open so that the wealth of the nations come into our life continually. In the name of Jesus, according to Isaiah 60 and 11, we thank you because you shower blessings upon our life. According to Ezekiel 34, we thank you because our vats overflow continually. According to Joel 2:24, we thank you because our barns are filled with plenty and our presses burst with new wine. According to Proverbs 3, hallelujah 10, we thank you because you have commanded blessings upon our storehouse. According to Deuteronomy 20, Eight and eight. Hallelujah. My barns are full and overflowing. My sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousands. My oxen are strong to labor. According to Psalms, I believe 144. We thank you because the plowman overtakes the reaper in my life and the treader of grapes and the sower of the seeds and I live in a continual harvest in Jesus name according to the King James Version of Amos chapter 9 verse 13 but Amos chapter 9 verse 13 hallelujah the message Bible says hallelujah that you about to bless us hallelujah one blessing one after another you are gonna bless us so fast our heads gonna swim we thank you because you got one blessing one after another after the other after the other after the other after the other that our heads can't keep up with the amount of blessings that you're sending our way my floor is full of wheat my vats overflow with wine and oil i thank you according to joel 2 25 you have dealt wondrously with me and i eat and i am satisfied according to joel 2 26 you lead me into a land flowing with milk and honey according to exodus 3 and 8 hallelujah you have brought me into a land without scarceness without lack and i thank you according to Deuteronomy 8, how you all grace abound towards me. I have all sufficiency in all things and abound to every good work second, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 9. I thank you God because my head is anointed with oil and my cup runs over according to Psalms 23. My head is anointed with oil and my cup runs over. Come on. My head is anointed with oil. Fresh ideas. Uh, you've given us the ability to make wet. Fresh ideas. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Old ideas we forgot about. Bring back. Hallelujah. So that our cup can run over. Come on. Our head is anointed with oil. I feel something on that. And my cup runs over. Psalms 23. My head is anointed with oil and my cup runs over. Psalms 23 and 5.
God. My head is anointed with oil. Come on. And my cup runs over. Black hey, shit to me. Oh, got on And in order for my head to run over with oil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Olives wasn't a cheap thing. Hallelujah. Olives wasn't a sign of luxury. Olives was a sign of riches. You had to be wealthy to have olives. God, good God. Hallelujah. So to have olive oil, hallelujah, crushed and run over my head means I had wealth to begin with. Good God. So now my cup is running over. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Because you're multiplying us uh, a thousand times greater. You're multiplying us. Good God. A thousand times greater. You're multiplying us a thousand times greater. I thank you. Just as you had Moses strike the rock and the water flowed from the rock, I decree now that the wealth and riches and favor and prosperity will flow from the rock in our lives now. Who is that rock? Jesus, the rock of ages. Hallelujah. Will flow from the rock on this night come on hallelujah i need y'all to testify in october as these uncunning uncommon blessings unexpected blessings begin to hit your life my feet are dipped in oil according to deuteronomy chapter 33 my feet are dipped in oil Woo! i thank you god i thank you god i thank you god I thank you, God. I thank you, God. I thank you, God. I thank you for wisdom. Thank you for strategy. I thank you for plans. For the treasure or the finances that you are giving us. I thank you in advance for wisdom, strategy, plan. And here you go, application. Yeah. For the finances, the treasures you're giving us. Lord, just as you brought honey out of a rock, you're going to cause blessings to come from uncommon places. I thank you. As we inherited the land, every place the soles of our feet touch, you told Joshua, you're going to give it to them. So, Father, we thank you for real estate in this season. We thank you for prosperity in real estate in this season. Ah, ah, new contracts in this season. Hallelujah. New funding sources in this season. Hallelujah. We thank you for it even now. We cut the bands of the restrainer and we command the world's finances system the world's financial system to give up and release its wealth and resources that rightfully belong to us hallelujah in the name of jesus matter of fact let me say it this way i command the world's financial systems to give up and release its wealth and resources that rightfully belong to me and my family and you can make it personal. I command yeah, the world's financial systems to give up and release its wealth and resources that rightfully belong to me and my family. In Jesus' name. Father, I request angelic assistance. I put my angels on assignment to ensure that complete success of this confession now and I release my faith and call it done in Jesus Christ's name and by the power of his shed blood. According to Deuteronomy 8 and 18, it's done. Woo! Hallelujah. I want to chat. We welcome you to Kingdom Life. Your blessings here. We welcome you to Kingdom Life. We welcome you to Kingdom Life. You're welcome here. We welcome you to Kingdom Life. We welcome you to Kingdom Life. 
Your welcome here. 